Hello all, welcome back to Dinity Software. This is the third tutorial of Python Excel automation using OpenPy Excel. In this video, we are going to see how to create chart and pivot table in Excel using Python. First, let's start with creating a bar chart in Excel using Python. Then we shall create a pie chart. Okay, to create the bar chart, let me import load or book from OpenPy Excel. Then I have to import bar chart and reference class from open by excel dot chart import bar chart and reference class. Now I have to load the workbook. I am going to make use of uh, excel file which we have already created in the first tutorial literacy dot excel access. So workbook equal to load underscore workbook it's in location e drive slash the name of the file is literacy dot xlsx okay now we shall get the workbook active sheet from the active attribute so sh equals wb dot active okay then create an object of the bar chart class name it as chart equal to bar chart okay. now we have to create labels as well as the values to plot in the bar chart so first let me create the labels okay labels can be created using this reference the first argument active sheet itself then we have to mention the minimum column minimum row and maximum row so considering this we need to create the label for this education so the column number is 2 and I have to start from the row number 2 till the row number 5. So minimum row will be 2 and maximum row will be 5. Okay. So min underscore column is set to 2. Min underscore row is also set to 2. And max underscore row is set to 5. Okay. Now we have to select the data for plotting. So I will store it in values reference first argument is sh again we have to mention minimum column starting from the column number 2 and minimum row I have to include the heading also in values so minimum row is 1 and maximum row is 5 again and here we have to mention the maximum column also so the maximum column in this case will be so this bar chart I am just going to create only for this education male count and female count. We are not including total here. So maximum column will be 4. So max underscore column is set to 4 here. That's it. Now we have to add this data to the bar chart object using the function add underscore data. So chart dot add underscore data. First argument is this values and the second argument is you have to set titles from data as true okay fine now we have to set the title for the chart using chart dot title attribute it is set as bar chart okay now we can also set the labels using set categories attribute chart dot set underscore categories you can pass the labels as the argument here okay you can also set x axis title and y axis title for bar chart so chart dot x axis dot title x axis title will be education and similarly y axis chart dot y axis title will give the count of the persons so it is the number of persons okay now we have to add the chart to the sheet we can add the chart using this function sh dot add underscore chart the first argument is 
the object chart. The second argument will be the cell number. So the top left corner of the chart will be anchored to this cell. Let me give H4. H4. Right. That's it. Now let's save this in a different file. wb.save. I'm just naming it as bot chart dot xlsx and that will be created in this path the colon python project Trinity python where you are executing the python program okay python automation i have missed the title spelling okay fine Okay, now it is barchart.xlsx that will be created in this location. Here it is. Open it. Yes, this is the bar chart created in H4. As we have mentioned, title, x-axis, y-axis title is also mentioned. So the labels are also given. Okay, and the male and female count is represented in the form of bar chart. Okay, similarly, we can create a pie chart in excel using python okay let me change the same coding so this remains the same import instead of bar chart i'm just going to make it as pie chart okay we'll use the same excel file okay chart we are going to create an object for pie chart here okay now labels are same we are going to concentrate on the column education so minimum column 2 starting from the row number 2 to maximum row 5 we are including all the rows for column number 2 whereas for values we are not going to split it into male count and female count so the pie chart will be drawn only for this total count so that column number will be 5 in this case so i will just change minimum column to be 5 so maximum column can be removed and minimum row is 1 and maximum row is fine that is fine and chart dot add data we are setting the values titles from data is set to two. this title i am setting it to pie chart okay chart dot set categories of labels we will remove this x axis and y axis title because for pie chart we don't have x and y axis and adding the chart i am going to save it in a different file i will name it as by underscore chart dot xlsx fine okay so let's check for by underscore chart okay so this chart contains a total number of persons here no degree is represented in blue color so the value is 700 out of the total population 11 percentage of people doesn't have any degree so this is secondary school 14 percentage 41 percentage people holding a PhD degree or 33 percentage so that's it about creating chart in excel using python now let's create a pivot table in excel using python let me use a different table that is sales underscore data so we have seen this in the previous tutorials okay i'm going to create the pivot table in excel using python to create the pivot table i have to make use of a different package called pandas so you can install pandas using pip install panda statement so this pandas has a, a function called as pivot underscore table which will create a spreadsheet style pivot table as a data frame then you can transfer that to an excel file okay so it's a very simple process first let me import pandas so before importing pandas Pandas must be installed in your system. Pandas as PD. Okay. Now I have to read this Excel file located in E drive Python underscore book. So I will read this file and save it Excel underscore file. Say PD dot read underscore Excel. Okay. It's in E drive Python underscore book dot slxx okay i'm going to pass a second argument to this because i have to mention the engine as opened by excel only then this file can be opened and read using pandas so i mention engine equal to 
open by itself okay so we have to create a pivot table now for this data so we are going to consider what are the features to be placed in row what feature should be placed in the column and what must be placed in the particular cell so here uh, i will place the representative name in the rows okay and this item name can be placed in the columns okay and the total cost can be placed in the cell values so you can create the pivot table using index parameter columns parameter and values parameter the feature that should go in the row should be placed in the index parameter the feature that must be placed in the columns should be in the columns parameter and the feature that should be used to fill in the cell values should be specified in the values parameter okay now let's create the report underscore table okay this excel underscore file dot pivot underscore table we are using this parameter index rep representative name then columns item and values should contain the total and then we have to mention the aggregate function also you can use sum mean median anything here the aggregate function is going to be sum fine and so we have created the report table you can convert this to excel file using report underscore table dot to underscore excel report report dot excel sx and then you can give a sheet name sheet underscore name equal to the report and you can mention from which row it should be started start row equal to and just start from two that's it okay so we have to look for this excel file report underscore pivot so here we have got the report the representative names are given as rows and the item names are given as columns and the total values are filled up in the cell now if we want row wise grand total and column wise grand total we have an option for it to calculate this row wise and column wise grand totals we can use the margins and margins name parameter so i have just include two more uh, parameters here margins should be set to two margins equal to true then margins underscore name that is set to grand total because usually in the pivot table we will get this grand total okay fine okay so open this again so now we have got this grand total row wise grand total and column wise grand total okay we can also include other features in column we have included an item in the column so i can also include this region feature in the pivot table so that can be done by setting columns equal to region comma item okay so let's open this again now in the columns we have a combination of both the region as well as the item names and the data is scattered accordingly okay so this is our report is generated using python that's it thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe